What is up ladies and gentlemen, it is Killer Drone, and welcome back to the Minecraft How to Build series. And this is the official relaunch of the How to Build series here on the channel. That means that we have a ton to cover, so without further ado, let's go ahead and let's get started with it. So this time with How to Build, I'm going to do things a little bit differently. I'm going to show you guys a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create builds like I've always done. However, I'm going to do those builds consistently in the same world. This means that as we do more tutorials, we're going to have a thriving world around here. Eventually, we'll end up with an entire kingdom that you guys can build by just following along with the series. This also gives the opportunity to build in lore to this world. If we want to go a mythical route, we can add in wizard's towers. If we want to have kind of a medieval village, we can have a port nearby or something like that. There's a lot that we can do with this world, and I'm super interested to get started. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, so let's go ahead and get started with our very first house here and that is going to be a minecraft starter house now a starter house is basically a house that is very easy to build whenever you're still new to a world that means that it's going to be constructed out of mostly wood cobblestone things like that things that are fairly easy to obtain so this is the layout for the entire build go ahead and copy this down into your world using whatever markers you want but this is going to be the layout for the entire thing. Once you have this copied down, go ahead, pause the video to do that. Let's go ahead and let's get started. So we are gonna start right here at this cross section here where all three of these paths join together. Go ahead and build up by four blocks. So one, two, three, four. Go over to this other corner directly across from that pillar and go ahead and do another four blocks up. One, two, three, four. Come over into this corner here, build up another four blocks, just like so. And then over into this corner, one, two, three, four. And now you should have four pillars that look something like this. This is going to be the foundation for the building. We're going to have a workshop that is underneath, and then on top is going to be the player area where your bed or your storage, things like that would go. So now we're gonna go ahead and connect up all of these pillars just with some logs going straight across like this. Go ahead and connect all four of these pillars up with some oak logs all the way across. So now you should be left with something that looks a bit like this. The next thing that we're gonna do is we are going to lay out the front entrance to this area. And it's actually not really a front entrance, it's more of a side entrance. And we're gonna use some spruce planks in order to get this started. So come over here to this pillar and we're going to build three blocks out from the base. And then just like this, make a three by three landing pad right here at the bottom. Then what you're gonna do is just surround the outside edges with some spruce stairs going right the way around all the way until this point right here. Now from here, what we're gonna do is we are going to build a staircase up into our second story. So we're gonna have something a bit like this coming up and we're just going to remove the blocks underneath in order to give us a little bit of a railing here. Next, switch over to some oak stairs and you're just going to place your oak stairs on the sides of these fences. You're gonna have a three wide path going up here all the way up to the top until you are even with the top level up here. And then you're just going to do a three by three landing pad up here as well, just like so. In fact, you can go ahead and just wrap your spruce planks all the way around to the back corner over here and then bring up some oak logs just like so in order to complete this area. So just like that. And now, as you can see, you kind of have a nice little staircase going into your build. Go ahead and put down some spruce planks up to the top in order to extend your landing pad. And then you can either take some type of stripped log and put up here as a sort of railing, 
or you can just use your regular oak. I think I'm actually going to switch this out for stripped in this case, just because I think it'll look a little bit better to have another texture in here. So I think let's do some type of stripped spruce. I think that will be really nice. And then I think a cobblestone wall will also look really nice for this area. So let's go ahead and just do that. We'll do every other block like so. And then we'll just stick some cobblestone walls in between in order to give us a nice little staircase going up that area. I like that. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do is we are going to get a balcony in for our second story. So in order to do this, what I'm gonna do is come in two blocks from this starting pillar and place down a block. So one, two, and then a block. Do the exact same thing from the other side. One, two, and then another block. Go ahead and fill in all of the blocks in between, and then one block from the edge of that, go ahead and put down another block. Same thing from this side, another block in from the edge, and then three right here on this outside edge. That's gonna be your balcony for your second story here. And we actually need to get in some supports for that. So what we're gonna do is come over to this block here. So the middle block of the balcony and just build up by three oak logs, just like so. This is just going to give you a bit of uh, support to that balcony. And it actually is starting to really come together around here. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do is get the basement in. And this is going to be relatively simple because it's just going to be some stairs down to a spruce platform. So let's go ahead and remove some of this wool and let's get in some spruce stairs just like so. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna follow around the edge of this just like that. Where this wool is, we are going to replace with stairs going all the way around the front here. All of this grass and dirt can be removed. However, do not remove this wool yet on the other sides. We're gonna do something a bit different with that. Let me go ahead and grab some more grass here, but you can remove all of this stuff and replace it with spruce planks down on the, this level down here. So do spruce planks on this level. I'm gonna go ahead and clear this out and then add some spruce planks in here. So now you should be left with something that looks a bit like this. Your entire floor replaced with some spruce planks, a nice little staircase heading down into this area, and you can really do whatever you want. If you want to add in some anvils, if you want to add in some chests, whatever you want to use this area for, even an enchanting setup could fit in this area. It's just a nice open to the air working area for you to use. The next thing that we're gonna do is get in a spruce plank floor down here in... Why did it start raining? <laughs> let's, uh, let's go ahead and do a quick weather clear. And then I also probably need to change that game rule for this world. Let's do, do weather cycle. Yeah, let's change that to false. <laughs> Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, brand new world. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and fill in this entire floor with spruce planks. This is going to be your second story. So go ahead and fill all of this in. This is going to be another area for you to add in chests, bedrooms, whatever you want up to this area. Go ahead, fill all of this in just like so. And it also acts as the roof for this under area, so you don't get rained on like I just did. <laughs> Over on this right side where we have this orange wool still, go ahead and remove that. We're actually gonna put in a, a set of stairs all the way along here, as well as at the back, you can go ahead and do that. Just like so, just to add a way to get down into this area. So you'll have something that looks a bit like this. Go ahead and replace these corners as well. Go ahead and remove that wool. Do that over here as well. Just have it go down into the ground, just like so. And now you should have a nice open area down here for you to play around with. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to remove all of this wool as well. And I'm just going to add back in grass into this area because we're gonna do something a little bit different with this a little later on. But for right now, we're just going to leave that. 
Alrighty, so now let's go ahead and focus on the second story here, and this is going to be the living area. This is going to be the area that you're going to be spending a ton of your time in, whether it be with a bed or with a bunch of chests in this. This is kind of the living quarters where the bottom underneath is kind of a workshop. So in order to build this up, come over here to your starting pillar and build it up by five blocks. So one, two, three, four, five. Do the exact same thing to this other corner. One, two, three, four, five. All the way to the back corner. One, two, three, four, five. Same to this corner. One, two, three, four, five. Just like so. Now what you're going to want to do is add in some extra pillars in order to section this area off. So what I'm going to do is one block back from where this staircase is, go ahead and place another pillar in right here and bring it up by five blocks. So one, two, three, four, five right there. Mimic the exact same thing on the other side. If you still have this wool in place, it should be even with that wool. So one, two, three, four, five just like so and this should be all of the pillars that you need in order to go ahead and just section this area off so go ahead and connect all of these pillars up with some oak logs all the way around this entire area so just like this go all the way through this entire thing and now you should be left with something that looks a bit like this now what we're gonna do is we are going to section off the front just ever so slightly. And the way that we're gonna do that is we're gonna come to the front here and I'm gonna give myself a one wide door for me to get in and out of. So I'm gonna do something a bit like this and then I'll probably just take some wood like so in order to give us a bit of a different texture right there and then go ahead and delete those blocks. And now this will be our door. And as you can see, we have another three wide area here for us to fill in. In fact, let's go ahead and do that. What we're gonna do is go ahead and set back from this area and just kind of do a little bit of a circle. So we got a little bit of a donut here and we'll just fill that in with some spruce fences. That's going to be one of our windows. We're gonna do the exact same thing over here. Again, just a little donut like that donut man I'm getting hungry <laughs> and then do the exact same thing over here just a little bit of a donut and then do a little pop pop like that and this is basically what we're going to do for our walls we're going to decorate these up a little bit more later on but for right now just a nice little donut to get the structure in and like so and that's looking pretty good at the front there right now okay around the back what we're going to do is we're going to come off of where this wood is where this beam is and we're just going to make a balcony that is even so let's see this is our middle point so what we're gonna do is grab uh let's see we'll do like three wide on each side and then one block out and that will be a little balcony off the back that we can have in order to overlook some type of garden or maybe a cow pen or something like that We'll decorate this up a little bit more later, but for right now, let's just leave that alone and let's actually get this area covered. So let's go up from this point and let's go up by five blocks. So one, two, three, four, five. And we're gonna do the exact same thing to the front. One, two, three, four, five, just like so. And then what I'm gonna do is a two-toned roof. Now, basically what two-toned means is that the inside of the roof, the innermost uh, part of the roof, is going to be one color, and then the outside edge, the border of the roof, is going to be another color. So, basically what we're gonna do here in order to kind of simplify that is the outside is going to be made out of spruce, the outside edge all the way along the edge, and then the inside is going to be uh, oak stairs instead. So basically this is what we're gonna do. Outside edge is going to be spruce going all the way up to that point. And then the outside edge is going to be, or the inside edge rather, is going to be oak. So basically just build this up like so, all the way up to where your peak is. And then at the peak, since as you can see, remove all of these, at the peak, what you can do is just take a spruce stair 
right down the middle all the way to the back. So not a spruce stair, spruce slab, I mean. <laughs> so go ahead, grab a spruce slab and just go boop. And then take this all the way to the back, just like so, overhang it by one. And then oak stairs go here and then here and then here. And then let's just do like this. There we go. And then on the outside edge, once again, you're going to do your spruce stairs. Go ahead and do this for the entire roof. This is gonna be a lot of repetitive placing. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this exact design and mirror it over to the other side. So now you should have something that looks a bit like this. And what we're gonna do is add a little bit more detail to this roof by giving it some outcroppings because right now, it's very flat and plain, and it just doesn't bring any interest to this area. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the middle section of our roof, and I believe that this should be even. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then on the other side, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that means that these two blocks here are our center blocks for our roof. What that means is we can just come over here. By the way, you can go ahead and change out those center blocks. You can do the exact same thing on the other side and just replicate this over because it does kind of look nice to have that little piece there that's a little bit different. So if you wanna do that, you can. If not, you can go ahead and just keep it as the spruce. Doesn't particularly matter. But anyway, now we're going to add in the outcropping. And in order to do that, what we're gonna do is come one in from where our center point is and then over, and you're just gonna knock out a section of the roof. You basically want to leave in one row, and then everything here, you're gonna punch a big hole in. <laughs> so you come up one, or I guess up two, over one, and then up one, and then that's gonna be where you start your three by three hole. So I guess just take a look at this. It's kind of hard to explain. It's two out from the edge, and then you remove three blocks, and then leave one row of stairs at the top and one row of stairs at the bottom. You're gonna do that on this other side of this middle point as well. So just right here, do the exact same thing, remove all of those blocks, and you're gonna have two little sections here that we're gonna make an outcropping of the roof for. So in order to do this, it's actually really simple. What you do is you just take a spruce stair like so, and then turn it out to where it's even with your last hole, the last hole that you punched. You just wanna turn it and then make it come out to here. Do the exact same thing over here. Just turn it and then go right like that. And then at the top, you're gonna add a spruce slab in order to cap it off. Now what you wanna do is just fill in the edges with spruce, should just take three spruce blocks. And there you go, you have yourself a nice little outcropping. It's not much, but it does add just a little bit of detail to the build. Now to make it look even better, you just add in a stair here and an upside down stair here. And that's a nice little outcropping for that roof. I'm gonna repeat this one more time and then I'm gonna just replicate it onto the other side. So what you do is you come with a stair right like that, twist it out, make it go out by two blocks, do the exact same thing on this side, take some spruce slabs right down the middle and then take three planks just like so and then you take an upside down stair here and then a regular stair right there. And there you go, you have yourself two little outcroppings. Now what I like to do is I actually like to add in some type of glass into this. Any type of glass pane or anything like that actually looks really good there. I like the light gray. However, this is a beginner tutorial. So if you're doing a starter house, just throw in some fence gates, fin or fences rather. Fences are super easy to get and they don't look bad. However, if you want something that looks just a little bit nicer, just ever so slightly nicer, what you can do is go and collect up just a little bit of sand and get out some light gray glass panes and then fit that into here. And that looks really, really nice on a build like this. I think that that's just a nice little added touch there. So in order to give you guys an above shot, this is what your roof should look like when you are done with it. So that is the general layout and it does look really good 
from any of the angles that you look at it from as well. I absolutely love this roof design. A very simple A-frame with some added outcrops, but it does turn out looking really nice. All right, but now we need to fill in the A for the A-frame. So let's go ahead and let's take out some oak planks and we're just gonna fill in in kind of a pattern here. And this is going to be the pattern that we use. It's basically missing two oak planks right here along this center beam. So just go ahead, fill all of this in like so, and then we're gonna add in some spruce fences, and that is going to be what makes up your A-frame. You're gonna do the exact same thing on the back side as well, so you'll just take out your oak planks, do the exact same thing. Again, missing those two blocks, do this over here as well. So like so and then just stick you in some spruce fences just like that. And that's a nice looking uh, A-frame fill-in part right there. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a roof into this balcony. We're gonna make this balcony look a little bit better than it currently does. So what I'm gonna do in order to do that is I'm gonna take some oak slabs and just bring them out by three blocks here at the front. And then I'm gonna go down by half a block and do some uh, spruce slabs one two three out the front just like that Then next to that I'm gonna take some spruce slabs from this back corner right here again out three blocks Just like so and actually this needs to be another half a block lower. So you actually need to put it there uh, Let's see. I put this in the wrong spot as well So there you go. So basically this is making kind of a curve there as well as it's kind of making a curve there. And then the last thing that you're gonna do is you are going to get out some spruce trap doors, like so. And you're just going to put right above your window here, two trap doors, just like this on each side. So like that, go ahead and flip your trap door down. And now you have a nice little awning above your balcony. Now what we can do is come in with some cobblestone stairs and actually hold that awning up here in the corners, just like that. Give it a nice little support structure. Come in with some type of fence gate, doesn't particularly matter. I think I may use oak fences here, just cause I think it'll pop a little bit more. So go ahead and do oak fences right along those corners right there. And that is starting to look really good. However, this isn't the only entrance that I want into this area. This staircase is really nice, but I think that it would be really good to have another area to get in right over here. So let's go ahead and do that. I think this will be interesting. So what we're gonna do in order to do this is I am going to just place out by, let's go out by three blocks all the way along this back edge, just like this. And in order to get up here, we're actually going to use a trap door and ladder trick in order to add in another entrance. So go ahead and grab out some ladders and some trap doors. And then you wanna to come to the back side back here and just place trap doors along those bottom blocks. And then along those trap doors, place more trap doors and open them up. And then across the bottom, just go ahead and place down some trap doors right here. Open those up and now, as you can see, you have a nice flat wall for you to place some ladders against for you to get up to the next story. That's a nice little trick in order to add in another access point into your builds. Go ahead and take some type of oak log and you can go ahead and fill in this area here as kind of a support beam. Or we're gonna do something else with this here real quick. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to take a bit of cobblestone and I'm actually gonna make a furnace in this area. I think that'll be a really nice touch. So let's go ahead and get out some campfires cause we're going to need some smoke. We're also probably going to want some type of nether rack unless you have fire tick in your world off which in this world I do not. However, I do recommend that you turn off fire tick in your world. So just do game rule, do fire tick and set it to false. If you're playing on a server, the server administrator would have to turn it to false, but 
to be honest with you, mo most servers already do that because fire spread leads to griefing, which leads to things burning down that you don't want them to. So yeah, just turn off your, uh, just turn off your fire tick. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we are going to build up some type of furnace here at the back. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'll probably add in, let's just do it like this. Let's go with cobblestone here and cobblestone, let's do cobblestone here. And I think that that will work. I gotta think about from the bottom section as well as from the top section, this actually making sense. So we'll just come up like so. And then we'll do the exact same thing over here. And this is gonna be kind of like a corner fire pit. So then what I'll do is just fill this in, bring this up like that, and then kind of make this curve inward toward the player in this area. Something a bit like that would work. And then what we wanna do is just build that up a bit like so and then add in a chimney on top of that. So let's do something like that. So a big chimney out the back. Let's actually look what this thing looks like from right here. Uh, it's okay. It could use a bit of slabs though. Let's go ahead and get some cobble slabs. As you can see, I'm kind of freelancing this part. This is not something that I had planned. However, I think it'll look cool if we get it implemented correctly. So maybe something like that and then a little bit of a campfire in the back back there. Ooh, that looks good. I like that. And then maybe add in that as like a little bit of a hood there. And you know what? I actually don't really like this a whole lot. Let's do something. Or I guess I kind of need that if I'm going to do my other plan. Okay, let's leave that in for right now. Uh, maybe we'll do... Uh, maybe we'll just add in like a cobblestone wall there. Does that look good? Just one cobblestone wall? I think we can make that work. Uh, I mean, it's not perfect, but I think we can make that work. Maybe we'll add a light source there or something like that to justify some lighting. Underneath down here, what we're gonna do is if you have fire tick turned off, you can just kind of light the grass on fire or you can get out netherrack. I have fire tick off, so I'm just gonna get some flint and steel out and I'm going to make a fire pit here and we can just do something a bit like that remove out all of this section and we're going to replace all of this with cobblestone in fact i also kind of need to remove that and we we can do cobblestone there as well that'll be fine and then just like a cobblestone slab there cobblestone slab there and as you can see we have a nice furnace underneath now as well as whenever we come up here you can kind of see the furnace still working one other thing that I might do in order to add in a smoke effect would be add campfires there. And now the smoke should come directly through these half slabs up top. Uh, looks like it may be getting stuck. Let's do them down one more layer. Yes, okay, so if the half slabs are on the top block, it looks like it may come through. Ah, uh, that's a negative. Doesn't look like it comes through at all. <laughs> okay, well, maybe we could just leave it like that, but that's kind of a safety hazard, don't you think? Maybe we'll do something. Nah, I don't like it. Let's just let's just cap it off with some uh, with some slabs like that and call it good. We're not gonna get smoke out of that thing. Anyway, at the top, at the very top of your chimney, you want this to look like it's burning. So just put down a campfire and then do some trap doors on each and every side of it, just like so. And then go ahead and close it off. And now from this angle over here, it should look like you have a nice little chimney. And then from this angle over here, it looks like you have a roaring furnace. I really like that. I like how that came out. All right, so I'm at the point in the video where I'm starting to get distracted by some of the extra stuff instead of actually finishing up the building. So let's go ahead and get in the rest of this floor here. So go ahead and come to this middle block here and build just a beam up like so. And we're gonna go ahead and start building up our balconies that are here at the back. So what I'm gonna do is get out some oak fences and I guess we can just do a simple railing like this on each one of the edges. 
Then up the middle, what I'm gonna do is run some fences like so. And then I'm actually gonna use some campfires across the entire back of the house here. And we're gonna run some leaves on top of this. I think I'm gonna do this right up to the edge of that and then right up to the edge of that. Now I just need to put out all of these campfires. And now we have something that looks a bit like this. Now what I'm gonna do is I am going to put up my shovel and I'm gonna get out some leaf blocks and I'm gonna make this look like it's kind of a back garden. We're just gonna use some normal oak leaves for this and we're just gonna make this look a little bit overgrown. So add in some leaves on top. Obviously they are going to float, but if you have Jermsey's uh, Better Leaves texture pack on, then this is going to look really, really good. However, even without that, you can just kind of add in some bushes along the edge here to kind of hide that some of them are indeed floating. But anyway, go ahead and just run some leaves down the side of your building like so. Make it look a little bit nice. You can even have it come all the way down to the ground, really. It doesn't particularly matter. You don't want it too much, but you don't want it too little either. A nice little in-between will be good. Make it kind of look like this is running down to the ground somehow. So maybe like a, like a, a bit of vines starting up here and then going down to the ground on each side. In fact, if you really wanted to, you could remove this fence gate in the middle and even run leaves going down the middle. I think that may be a bit overkill, but just some bushes around the back does look pretty good. Over here on this side where we have our entranceway, I'm just gonna go ahead and block up a little bit more of this entranceway by adding in another pillar here. I just want my entranceway to be three high. So I'm gonna block that up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab out some oak planks and I'm just going to fill this in one, two at the bottom, one, two at the top, and then we'll get in some spruce fences, just like so. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing and mirror it on the other side. So just bring this up till it hits that other pillar, put in some oak planks like so, and then some spruce fences, just like so. And our build is really coming together now, ladies and gentlemen. I think it's time for us to do a little bit more of the detail work. All right, so to detail out this build, what we're gonna do is we are going to get in a couple of paths around this area to kind of connect up all of the different entranceways. So there's a couple of things that I want to do. First and foremost, the ladders over to the side need to connect to this center point that head down into the basement, and that also needs to connect up to our staircase here. And I also want to do one little, not as, as prominent of a path, but one that comes underneath our entranceway here and kind of out into this area. It doesn't need to be nowhere near as prominent and pronounced as these three, but just something small would be really nice. Also, I wanna get in some leaves. So let's go ahead and do just a bit of something like that on each side. Doesn't have to be perfect, just anything randomly thrown around is better than nothing. And then adding in a bit of leaves over in this section to kind of draw the player toward those fences there, or not fences, uh, ladders there is a good thing as well. So overall, I think that this area is coming out looking really good. I think for pathing around here, I'm probably going to use actual path blocks and then I may mix in some gravel and stuff like that. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen, I think that this will go really, really nicely in a time lapse. Alrighty, ladies and gents, we are back. And now all of the landscaping in this area is done. I got in a nice wheat field. I got in a cow farm at the back, kind of, kind of a farm. <laughs> it's mostly just a bunch of cows. And then I also have some paths into this area as well with a bit of variation with some slabs and stuff. But I actually want to focus back on the building here and do just some last touch up things just extras mostly, just extras. So 
Some extras that you can do is take out some slabs, take out some flowers, and take out some flower pots if you can make them. We're gonna make these window seals look a little bit better. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a spruce slab here, here, and then in my texture pack, if you double up the spruce slab, you actually get this kind of swirly texture, and that's really nice. If you don't have that, doesn't matter. Just go ahead and put a full block there, and that will be fine. Go ahead and place a flower pot down with any type of flower in it. I like the lily of the valley, so that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side, and this is just small details. Anything small like this to make the area feel just that much more lived in is a good thing. Also, things like lighting are another thing that you need to do for this area. So any type of lanterns are probably the best, especially for a medieval style like this. So maybe place some lanterns over here on the outside edge. On the inside, what I would recommend doing that is super easy is take a beam across your room just like this all the way across, and then you can hang a couple of lanterns from that beam just like that. That is a super easy way to get in some lighting to the inside. Also down here at the bottom, what I would recommend doing for lighting would be to add in some type of lighting to these pillars. And then in the middle, I would probably do some type of hidden lighting in the floor. So let's do, let's get some fences and let's do the pillars like I said. So maybe not here, but like here you can do a bit of a fence right there and there and then place some lanterns on it just like so and this is just kind of like a like a little small lantern holder nothing super special going on here in fact i may not want that there because the staircase is there and i think that might look funny a lot of this has to do with just feeling your way around a build feeling your way hey will this look good no that's not going to look good will this look good no that's not going to look good a lot of that happens whenever you are building things Okay, so as you can see, we still have a dark spot here in the middle. What I would probably do would be take a strip out of the middle like this, and then I would take probably some sea lanterns if I had them. If I didn't have sea lanterns, I would take probably something like jack-o'-lanterns, pumpkins, something like that. Anything that's super cheap in order to hide under the floor, just like so, and add some lighting into that area. And then what I would do is I would cover it up with some carpet. Uh, in this case, I'll probably just do some brown carpet right across the floor, just like that. In fact, if you have an enchanting table or anything like that, you can hide the lighting for the center of, of the room in the empty space between the enchanting table and the bookshelves. Just put it in the floor around there and that'll look really good. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I do think that that is going to be where I wrap up this video. Again, make sure to come back through here and remove all of your wool, place back in some grass or some dirt, something like that, just to make the area look like it's supposed to. You don't want to uh, have things like this where you can see little slivers of wool underneath. Just make sure that you clean your area up when you are done building. So something a little bit like that <laughs> will always go a long way. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I do believe that is going to be where I wrap up today's episode. I do hope that you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like on the video, as well as if you're new around here, be sure to subscribe for more Minecraft how to build. But anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for me today. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. You guys have a great day.